Mexican yeah, woman yeah. only. <laughs> Time having arrived for the Finance Committee meeting on Monday, June 16th, 7 p.m. I hereby call it into session. Cost is a little uh, information cleanup before we get into the agenda. Uh, I sent an email out today, the joint meeting that we had scheduled with the mayor, the school committee, and the two representatives of Southeastern Regional this Thursday, 6.30 at East, Junior, uh, East Middle School is going to be postponed. Reason for the postponement is the school committee has a conflict with a meeting relative to the budget. Uh, the mayor was going to be able to come for the first hour. Uh, and, but more importantly, it was not going to be able to be taped. The AV system was not going to be operational that evening. We're going to continue that. I'm going to sit down with Mayor Carpenter, also the Vice Chair Menoncello. I do want to continue to do the four. So my suspicion and my hope is that we will do it early September, late October, late November. I'm hoping. I uh, just want you to know that. A couple city councils unable to come tonight. Council Stewart, Council Monaghan, Council Cruz have conflicts tonight. They're unfortunately not able to join us. Uh, Police Chief Bob Hayden uh, is not going to be here tonight. He's on vacation. School Committee, uh, I mean, uh, Superintendent of Schools, Kathy Smith has sent us notice as well. She has a conflict, a prior commitment. She's unable to attend tonight. We also have a letter from uh, Personnel Director Maureen Cruz. She's hopeful to come here tonight. However, she has a prior meeting at 6.30. So we're not, uh, we're not sure if she will, but she did give us notice that she will try to. We also have a letter from uh, DPW Commissioner Mike Thorson. He is unable to join us tonight with a uh, prior personal commitment and matter. So that's that information, counselors. With that, uh, Madam Clerk, agenda item number one, please. Appointment. John DeAndre of 32 Boylston Street, Brockton, to the Brockton Conservation Commission for a three year term ending June 2017. Invited John DeAndre. Councilors, I was just made aware that uh, Mr. Andre, I don't know the individual, but I was told through, uh, through the auditor, through Mr. Zioli, the clerk, that this individual has withdrawn his name uh, relative to that. So I'm going to uh, ask that uh, we entertain a motion to table it at this time. So moved. moved. Second. Council, you have to make the motion. I can't. So who's making the motion? You, Council? I'm making them. Properly second. second. Motion to table. All in favor? It's tabled. Madam Clerk, number two, please. Appointment. George Fisk of 238 Court Street, Brockton, to the Brockton Board of Health for a three-year term ending June 2017. Invited George Fisk. Mr. Fisk, are you in attendance? Yes. Good evening, sir. If you could come forward to the, uh, to the podium. Thank you for joining us tonight. Do you have a statement for the uh, Finance Committee? Do you have anything you want to say? Relative well, I, I just said I'm, I'm very happy to uh, serve. Uh, I, I didn't run for it or anything like that. I didn't know that much about it, but Bill asked if, he'd, if I'd help him out and so forth, so I'd be certainly <laughs> glad to uh, help out any, you know, I've been here a lot of years in Brockton, so I'd be certainly willing to help out any way I can. Move Thank to approve. Sir. Motion made? Second. Motion made properly second for favorable recommendation back to the full city council. All in favor, raise your hand. Um, actually, uh, can I motion, question? Council? Yes, please, uh, Mr. Fisk. Besides embalming, what's your history with um, Board of Health policy procedures, um, I guess best practices? Well, as a funeral director, any funeral director, we have to deal all the time with the uh, Board of Health. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to get permits uh, there all the time. We're licensed by the Board of Health also okay. as a funeral director in establishment. And uh, also when I was living in Cape Verde, I was uh, very active in the uh, Board of Health over there in the uh, D'Agostino Hospital. Okay, and your business won't conflict with the business of the Board of Health as you are Not that I can see. Related. I know there's one other funeral director, uh, Robert Kane, from Kane Funeral Home in Easton, and he's been on the Board of Health for many, many years. And uh, so as far as I know, it, it wouldn't. Of course, I really don't know what you're asking me to do either. <laughs> but, you know, I'm certainly willing to help out Bill in any way that I possibly can. Bill is in the With mayor? my background. You know, I think what the, the biggest thing that I probably have to offer is that I've lived in a foreign country I've been able to see, especially a lot of the people that are trying to start businesses here in, in the city, and they just don't understand what they have to do in the proper procedures. And being living in a foreign country, I think I understand a lot what they do do, and maybe make it a little bit easier, make a lot of people to understand and give them the proper uh, way of uh, going about things. So I think that's what I'd have to offer more than anything. Plus, of course, I've, you know, uh, I'm an embalmer and, you know, studied anatomy and sanitary science and, you know, with the Board of Health and, you know, for years and years, all funeral directors are involved, you know, with the Board of Health, which I have been. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Councils, if uh, no objections, I'd like to ask a question through the, through, uh, the chair to the solicitor. Any objections? 
No. Mr. I just had a quick question. <coughs> I was always under the impression that this position needed to be a, a, a medical personnel, either a doctor, such as Dr. Brophy, the late Dr. Fichero, a, a dentist, Dr. Keith. Uh, if I may, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mayor, absolutely. So I, I can probably respond to your question, Mr. President, Dan, along the lines of the counselors. Um, there needs to be one member of the board is required to be a doctor. And so Dr. Brophy fills that role on the board. Um, I, did confer with the, uh, I did confer with the executive health officer, Mr. Tartaglia, about recommending Mr. Fisk for the board. And Mr. Tartaglia fully, fully supports the nomination and did also endorse the idea that he thought it would be a good idea to have one of the funeral directors from the city represented on the board. So the makeup of the board now would be a doctor, a dentist, and a funeral director, so it kind of give us a, a good cross-section of the community in terms of um, a board of health. I think that um, dentist is uh, moving out of Brockton. I guess we'll need another, send up another nomination then, but in, in any event, I, I did consult with Mr. Tartaglia. He fully endorsed uh, Mr. Fist to serve on the Board of Health and did also endorse the idea that he would be good to have a funeral director's perspective on many matters that come in front of the board. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Okay. Kaz, does that answer your question as well? Um, no, but I'll take it. Okay. okay. We have a favorable recommendation back to the full city council. There was a motion made. It was properly seconded. All in favor, raise your hands. All opposed, favorable recommendation back to the full city council. Madam Clerk, number three, please. Reappointment. Thank you. John R. Stocko of 33 Wellington Street, Brockton, is a constable in the city of Brockton for a term of three years. Invited John R. Stocko. Mr. Stocko here. Mr. Chairman, if I might. Uh, I have a question on, on uh, not on Mr. Stocko, but on his paperwork. Uh, there's a foreman here that needs five signatures, one being an attorney, four being citizens. And there's only two signatures of citizens here. Mm. So I don't know if we could have moved forward tonight on this anyway. So I think I'd make a motion to continue it to the next finance meeting. Second. I agree. On the motion. I know Mr. Stocko. He's a great person. I, uh, he's yep. also done a lot. But, I, but you bring up a valid point, Counselor. I think we need to err on the side of caution. Motion was made properly seconded to continue back, uh, to the next FinCom, which will be in July. All in favor? All opposed. The motion carries. We're going to continue that until the only finance committee meeting in the month of July. Madam Clerk, number four, please. Order appropriation of $2,030,878 from the available funds, Brockton's Chapter 90, apportionment for fiscal year 15 to the Highway Transportation Project Fund's fiscal year 15, Chapter 90 projects, in order to provide funding for the purpose of the design and construction costs necessary for approved projects. Invited Honorable Mayor Bill Carpenter, John A. Condon, Chief Financial Officer, Michael Thorson, Commissioner of DPW, Craig Young, <coughs> Superintendent of Operations. Mr. Young, good evening. Thank you for being here tonight. Thank you. Do you have any uh, statement relative to this? I'm sorry, sir. Do you have any statement relative to this order? No, sir. This is just the money that we uh, get yearly from the state for Chapter 90 for uh, reconstruction of our streets. Move to approve. Second. Motion made properly seconded. Favorable recommendation back to full city council. All in favor, raise your hand. All opposed. Motion carries. Thanks, Mr. Young. Thank you, counselors. Madam Clerk, number Thanks, five, John. please. Order appropriation of 22,000 from the Massachusetts Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, EOPS Local Action Research Grant to the City of Rockton Police Department, EOPS six, Year 6 Local Action Research Partner <coughs> Grant Fund. Invited Honorable Mayor Bill Carpenter, John A. Conan, Chief Financial Officer, Robert Hayden, Interim Police Chief. Mr. Conner, good evening. Good evening, Counselors. Uh, as you know, the uh, Chief is not here tonight. Uh, this is a, a grant, it's an annual or a periodic grant we receive, and the purpose of this particular grant is for doing research that's required in connection with our Shannon anti-gang uh, initiative. We have to do data analysis and reporting to the state, and this money pays for the engagement of a firm which has been doing this work for many years to perform that task. Move to approve. Second. Motion made properly seconded. Uh, favorable recommendation back to the full city council. All in favor, raise your hand. All opposed. Motion carries. Thanks, Mr. Conner. Okay, thank you, Council. Uh, Madam Clerk, number six, please. Order appropriation of 125000 from the finance liability insurance to the finance ordinary maintenance to cover the cost for the solar to city services. Invited Honorable Mayor Bill Carpenter, John A. Condon, Chief Financial Officer. Mr. Condon. Uh, Councilors, this one was submitted at my request. Basically, we have several contracts in the city, and we talked about this during the budget, where uh, the city purchases uh, power from solar fields uh, around the state. Uh, the amount of power that we buy from these solar fields then gets credited to 
the specific meters in the city, which reduces their energy bill. Uh, but 80% of that savings, we now have to pay back to the uh, to the solar companies. We've had more contracts than when we anticipated when we did the budget. I need this money to uh, to pay the bills that are coming in now, and you know we've saved money on it. And it's coming from the insurance uh, fund. Uh, appropriation in my budget I pay for the premiums and also deductibles we get about two hundred thousand dollars left in, in that for the rest of the year so I think we should be okay for that any motion questions for favorable second Mo motion made properly second a favorable recommendation back to full city council all in favor all opposed that motion carries thank you, thank you. Okay. madam clerk uh, number seven please order appropriation of seven hundred and forty one dollars from the Massachusetts Emergency Management Agency HMEP grant to the Brockton Emergency Management Agency grant fund the intended use for this grant is for a think pad invited Honorable Mayor Bill Carpenter John A. Condon Chief Financial Officer and Stephen Hook Director of FEMA Director Hook good evening good evening councilors do you have any uh, statement or clarification on this this or? grant is a, uh, a grant from the Massachusetts Emergency Management Agency it's a state grant uh, there's no matching funds from the city. It will be used to purchase a laptop. Motion in favor. Uh, actually, a question, Sure. if you don't mind. Um, just the one ThinkPad laptop? Just one. That's all we're allowed under this, yes. Okay. And will it be mobile with the different folks, volunteers, you? This is going to be used. By law, we're required to uh, do what's called Tier 2 hazmat reporting, hazardous materials uh, reporting. And right now it's done uh, in paper. Oh, okay. So we're going to transfer that over electronically. Oh, great. Thank you. Move to approve. Motion made properly, seconded uh, through Council Stanitsky. Uh, original motion by Ian Airy. All in favor uh, for favorable recommendation back to full city council. All opposed. Motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Hook. Oh, you're here again. I'm Number here eight, again. Madam Clerk. <laughs> Order appropriation of $1,525 from the Massachusetts Emergency Management Agency SHSP grant to the Brockton Emergency Management Agency grant fund. The intended use for this grant is to purchase equipment to build our community emergency response team. Invited Honorable Mayor Bill Carpenter, John A. Conn, Chief Financial Officer, Stephen Huck, Director of FEMA. Uh, again, this is a grant from the Massachusetts Emergency Management Agency. It's a straight grant, no matching funds, and will be used uh, for equipment for the, the uh, community emergency response team. That's a bond. Yes, sorry, That's sorry with all the questions, but I just want to make okay. sure that folks at home also are clear sure. on uh, the importance of having an office like this. So can you just maybe go through just a few things that this money will do to help build this office for our safety? Sure. This grant is basically uh, earmarked for the CERT team. Oh, you can only use it for that, that the CERT team itself. Okay. Uh, but the type of equipment we're going to buy is generators, um, some backpacks for the CERT team. Uh, once you graduate CERT, start training, uh, you get a backpack that contains um, a flashlight, a uh, first aid kit, stuff like that, um, and it will be used specifically for that stuff. Excellent. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you Council. Move to approve. Second. Motion made properly. Second. A favorable recommendation back to the full City Council. All in favor? All opposed? Motion carries. Favorable recommendation back to the full City Council. Madam Clerk, number nine, please. Order. The City Council of the City of Rockton petitions the Great and General Court under the provisions of Section 8 of Article 89 of the Amendments to the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts for an act as follows. An act providing for rent regulations in the control of evictions in manufactured housing and mobile home communities in the City of Rockton. Invited Philip Nasrella, Attorney City Solicitor, and or his designee. Good evening. Attorney Nasrella. Yeah. Yeah, I think we should. Do you have any... Uh, I have no comment. I reviewed the um, the proposed order, and um, I understand it's for the um, the rent control aspects of certain properties. Uh, I'd be I'd be um, very receptive to any issues or questions that the council members would like to put forth. Mr. My mind, Mr. Chairman, uh, Council Stenisky's issues. Uh, the uh, the rent control is my part, but the other part is uh, Councillor. Uh, Stewart. Stewart is not okay. here. We need to, to continue, continue that. He asked me uh, anything relative to him we could continue tonight. Sure. Do you have any objection to that? Not at all. Thank you. Can I entertain a motion then? Uh, to, so moved. Moved. Second. Motion made, properly second, to continue this until the first and the only uh, FinCom in July. All in favor? All opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Attorney. Number 10, uh, if you could be read it, and then I have a statement relative to that, please. Order a budget for fiscal year 2015. Councilors, as you know, we, uh, we did last week three nights of budget hearings where we sat as a finance committee. So tonight we're sitting in finance committee. 
uh, this uh, actually has already been referred favorably as amended to the full city council, which is next Monday, the 23rd at 8 o'clock. So this need not be addressed tonight. It's already been addressed. Number 11, please. Order that pursuant to the Massachusetts General Law Chapter 44, Section 53E and a half, the City Council authorizes the establishment of a revolving fund for fiscal year 2015. Consistent with the provisions of the Mass General Law Chapter 140, Section 139A, the Animal Control Revolving Fund shall receive the deposits of the spaying and neutering of the animals. Expenditures would be restricted to not more than 5,000 annually for the purposes permitted by Chapter 140, Section 139A. Invited Honorable Mayor Bill Carpenter, John A. Condon, Chief Financial Officer, Thomas Tachilla, Supervisor of Animal Control. Condon. Good evening, Councilors, again. Uh, there are a few new Councilors here, so I'll talk a little bit about the revolving fund process that the rest of you, I know, have been through this. This is an annual process. Uh, it takes, each revolving fund takes revenues, which otherwise would have been general fund revenues and subject to appropriation, and it pulls them out of that stream, puts a restricted purpose for spending on it with a specific limit with the approval of the City Council, and it allows these monies to go into a fund which can be spent without appropriation, as I said, for a specific purpose. Um, every year they require renewal. If you don't renew them, the monies in, in balance close out to the general fund. The Department of Revenue requires that you have a certain limit on these funds. No fund can be large in its amount relative to the tax levy, nor can the aggregate of them be large in amount relative to the tax levy. Uh, we are under those limits. So basically, each of these is a, the order itself tells you what they're, what they're for and what they're limited to. All of these are as uh, proposed in prior years with the exception of two. Uh, one is for the um, Grave Liners Revolving Fund. It's uh, several down on the list here. Um, and one is for the Cable Fund. And when we get to those, I'll, I'll answer your questions as to why they changed. Thank you, Mr. Conan. Any questions? Councilors, we're going to take a one minute recess, okay? The council students are going to be back.
Back in session, Finance Committee meeting. Council Stanisky has joined, rejoined us. Uh, Need to entertain a motion on number 11. Move to approve. Second. Motion made properly. Second. Favorable recommendation back to full city council. All in favor? All opposed? That motion carries. Councilor Yanari. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. In, in light of time, and I know um, we do have a few new members of, of the uh, council here with us, but um, in order for us to move, um, you know, through these a little bit more faster, I'm, I'm going to move that we take item number 12 through 24 collectively, as these are um, enterprise accounts that have been established over the years. And if anyone has any questions per pertaining to any one of them, I'm sure Mr. Condor would be um, glad to answer the question. So I'm going to move that we take 12 to 24 collectively. Second. Uh, on the motion, councilors, uh, the new councilors, that this is a standard practice relative to uh, just doing these year after year. Uh, and in prior past practice, we have done this collectively. So. A motion made to take agenda items 12 through 24 collectively on, and it was properly seconded. All in favor? Okay. All opposed? That's carrying. Uh, Madam Clerk, 12 through 24 collectively, please. Pursuant to the Mass General Law, Chapter 44, Section 53 and a half, the City Council authorizes fiscal year 2015 revolving funds for the purpose of funding the Keep Brockton Beautiful um, composting bin distribution program. Uh, municipal recycling, the parking authority violation fines, control of the mayor, uh, receipts received from the mission to the pool shall not exceed 80,000 purposes for ordinary maintenance expenses to operate the pool, funding of acquisition and installation of the grave liners exclusive of the cost of the labor, um, demolition of the buildings by the superintendent of public property, Creation and maintenance of the abandoned building registry, um, closing up and boarding vacant and abandoned buildings under the superintendent of buildings, the War Memorial Building. Spending by the police chief for ordinary maintenance expenses for the police department under the closed cases revolving fund. Cost and connection with the canine unit of the Brockton Police Department. Uh, the public records request revolving for the sole purpose of reimbursing departments for the cost of complying with records for public records. Women's Commission of Receipts and Donations and various events. And the uh, establishment of revolving fund um, cash receipts from the Comcast. Constance, that was collectively 12 through 24. I understand motion. Move to approve. Second. Motion made, properly seconded. Favorable recommendation back to full city council. Agenda items 12 through 24. All in favor, raise your hand. All opposed, that motion carries. 12 through 24 referred favorably you, back to the full city council. Thank you, Mr. Condon. Madam Clerk, we're gonna go on to uh, agenda item 25, please. Police Chief Robin Hayden, I'm sorry, resolved that the Police Chief Robin Hayden be invited to appear before the Finance Commission to discuss any and all limitations placed on his ability to work more than 960 hours per year pursuant to the general law Chapter 32, Section 91B and C, invited Robert Hayden, Interim Chief of Police, Martin Brophy, Treasurer, Tax Collector, Philip Nazarella, City Solicitor, Marion Cruz, Personnel Director. Councils, I'm gonna ask that we uh, continue this for two factors. Number one, Council Dubois, our colleague, he filed this resolve. She's not in attendance tonight, and of course, uh, Police Chief uh, has already indicated he can't be here tonight because of vacation. It's move, move to approve Second. to our July meeting. <laughs> motion made properly seconded to continue this to the uh, only FinCon meeting in July. All in favor? All opposed, motion carries. We're gonna continue that until finance in July. Things will be different. Madam Clerk, uh, 26, please. Resolved that the city CFO confer with the assessor's department and get full accounting by year of any and all funds from reserve for abatements and assessment accounts that may be made available. Invited John A. Conn, Chief Financial Officer, Paul J. Sullivan, Chairman Assessors. Councilors, I, uh, I'm apologetic to uh, Mr. Conn and Mr. Sullivan because Council Dubois is not here and it is a resolve. I think we should entertain that. I respect for her. Entertain move, a motion to continue. Move to hold till July's meeting. Motion second. Made. Motion made properly second. We're gonna to continue to uh, July Finance Committee meeting. All in favor of that motion? All opposed, that motion's gonna carry. Thank you for being here, Mr. Sullivan. Number 27, please. Resolved to invite the school superintendent to appear before the council to discuss the state of the schools in the city of Brockton. Invited Kathleen Smith, superintendent. Council's motion to move it to the July Well, this meeting. is Council Rodriguez's resolve. It's a great resolve. Unfortunately, superintendent has given us notice. So we can tend to entertain a motion. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I, if possible, I could make, I'd like to make a motion that we postpone this until the uh, next FinCom meeting. Thank you. Second. I'll second that. Motion made properly second. We're going to continue agenda item 27. 
until the Finance Committee meeting in the month of July. Uh, Councilor Isaac. I'd like a moment of personal privilege. Absolutely. Um, I would like to remind everybody that this Wednesday evening, um, which is June 18th, um, we're having a Ward 7 meeting up at Harry's Pub at 7 p.m., so I'd like everybody to join us. Thank you. Thank you. Councilors, any, any other? Uh, Mr. Chairman, if I... Councilor Yanari, of course. Thank you. If I, if I might, I, I do want to uh, take time to uh, commend those that um, were able to attend the... Uh, Keith Ave uh, Park function, function on Saturday. Councilor Studinsky and myself, and even uh, the mayor was there um, to walk around and uh, they had a great turnout, great day. The, uh, the clouds blew away and the sun started to come out. So it was, it was great for them and uh, um, it was nice to see so many different people, neighborhood people there. So I, I commend them for the work that they've done down there in, uh, in that uh, park and um, you know, opening it up to the, to the people of Camp Pella because I think it's very, very important. Uh, so with that, that being said, I, I thank them for all that they did. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor. Anything else, Councilors? Seeing none of this meetings here by Jared.